Good morning students and welcome to today's maths class. So in the previous class we had started with a new chapter that is called subtraction. So we saw what is subtraction. So subtraction is nothing but nothing but taking away something from another thing or taking away a number from one number. Okay so subtraction means to take away. Okay, then we also saw that we always subtract a smaller number from a larger number. Correct, then we, all, we know that the result of subtraction or the answer you get when you subtract two numbers, it is called a difference. Just in addition, how we call the result, what we get as sum or total. Here, the answer we get after doing subtraction is called as difference. Okay, subtraction is signified by the minus sign. Okay, that is the sign. So this is what it is subtraction. Also, subtraction is the inverse operation of addition. Okay, subtraction is called as the inverse operation of addition. Now, so we saw how to do subtraction on a number line. So subtraction using a number line. So how you will do? Now, 4 minus 2 is the question here. So we'll start from the smaller number. So the smaller number here is 2. So we start from 2 and then we move, we move count forward until we reach the num larger number. Okay, so 2. Then we'll count forward till we reach 4. So this is 1, 2. So how many steps we took to reach the larger number? We took 2 steps. So 4 minus 2 is equal to? Two. Okay, so we, same way we saw different examples. So here they have told subtract 23 from 55. So what we did, we counted forward in steps of 10 from 23. So 23, then 33, then 43, then 53. Now 55 is closer to 53. So we can't take a step of 10. Here we'll take a step of 2. 53 plus 2 is 55. Okay, so how many steps we jumped? We jumped 10, 20, 30, 32. So 55 minus 23 will be 32. Okay, or how many tens are here? 3 tens and 2 ones. So 3 tens plus 2 ones gives you 32. Same way we saw various examples for subtraction on a number line. Then what we did, we studied what are the different properties of subtraction. The first property of subtraction is subtracting. 0. So here when 0 is subtracted from a number, the result is the number itself. So whenever you subtract any, whenever you subtract 0 from any number, the result will be the number itself. So as you see here the example they have given, 512 minus 0 is 512 itself. Okay, so this is subtracting 0. Then subtracting itself, whenever a number is subtracted from itself, the result is 0 okay you subtract a number from the same number then your answer or your difference will be 0 so 725 minus 725 they have given which is equal to 0 okay then subtracting 1 when 1 is subtracted from a number we get its predecessor means predecessor means the number one number before the given number so 693 minus 1 is 692 so 692 comes just before 693 Correct. So, these are the different properties of subtraction. That is subtracting 0, subtracting itself and subtracting 1. Now, what we'll do is, uh, we missed the questions last time. So, we'll complete the questions on properties of subtraction now and then we'll move on to the next part. So, page number 109, second question over here. Fill in the blanks. So, they have asked 924 minus zero how much is 924 minus zero now we know that whenever you subtract zero from any number the answer is the number itself so 924 minus zero will be 924 only now 387 minus dash is equal to zero so when do you get zero in subtraction when you subtract a number from itself so 387 minus 387 is equal to zero now 2672 minus 2672 is equal to dash so when you subtract a number from itself you get what you get zero okay so that answer is zero then dash minus 754 is equal to zero now again this is subtracting itself property only seven so 754 minus 754 is equal to zero okay so seven 
154 minus 754 is 0. Now 479 minus 1. We know that whenever you subtract 1 from a number, you get a predecessor. So 479 minus 1. What is the number before 479? It is 478. Okay, then 842 minus dash is equal to 841. Now here you have 842 and you have 841. So 841 is the predecessor of 42. So here it will be minus 1. Okay, so this was properties of subtraction. Now these two questions which are there, G and H for at home, complete that for your homework. Okay, now we'll continue with subtraction of four digit numbers without regrouping okay okay so subtraction of four digit numbers without regrouping here we know how to subtract and so you all have learned how to subtract numbers up to three digit by writing them vertically on the place value chart correct so we'll follow the same method to subtract four digit numbers now you know how to subtract two digit numbers three digit numbers so today we'll study how to subtract four digit numbers without regrouping okay here they have told subtract 2401 from 8536 okay first you will draw the place value chart like this or we'll write the numbers vertically so always write the larger number first so here the larger number is 8536 so minus 2401 Okay, now we start, uh, once you write the numbers vertically in the place value table, what you'll do, you'll start subtracting from ones. Addition also, we start adding from ones and subtraction also, we start subtracting from ones. Now, in ones place, we have six minus one. So, how much is six minus one? Six minus one will be five. Then, in tens place, we have three minus zero. Three minus zero is three itself. And in hundreds place, we have five minus four, which is 1 5 minus 4 is 1 and thousands place we have 8 minus 2 so how much is 8 minus 2 8 minus 2 is 6 so here the answer is 6135 okay now here uh, remember that the larger number okay from the two numbers you are subtracting in that the larger number is called the minuend m-i-n-u-e-n-d minuend and the smaller number is called the subtrahend okay and as i told you the answer that you get is called as difference okay it is known as difference now sometimes they might tell you to verify your answer to see if the answer you've got is correct or no so what you'll do is for verification you can you'll do difference your difference that you get plus your subtrahend that is your smaller number so when you add 6135 plus 2401 here you see we have 8536 now here 8536 is our minuend or our larger number correct so when you add your subtrahend oh uh, sorry your difference plus your subtrahend or the smaller number you get your larger number or your minuend as the answer so if you get that it means your difference is right your answer is correct okay so this is how you do subtraction of four digit numbers without regrouping now let's see another example for subtraction of four digit numbers now find the difference between 5896 and 3045 and they have told you to verify your answer so what you'll do first you write the numbers vertically in the place value table all right so first you write the larger number that is 5896 so six will be in ones place nine in tens place eight in hundreds place and five in thousands place then the second number or the smaller number 3045 so five in ones place 4 in tens place, 0 in hundreds place and 3 in ones place. Okay, and then what you do, write the numbers vertically in the place value table. Okay, so uh, we did that. Now what you'll do, the first step is to subtract the ones. So how many ones? We have 6 ones and 5 ones. So when you do 6 ones minus 5 ones, you get 1 1. Okay, then you subtract the tens. We have 9 tens minus 4 tens. So 9 minus 4 is 5. So you have 5 tens remaining. So you'll write 5 in tens column. And then moving on to hundreds. In hundreds, we have 8 hundreds and 0 hundreds. So 8 minus 0 will be 8 only. So that is 8 hundreds. 
then in thousands place we have five thousands and three thousands so five minus three is two so that is two thousands now what is your answer your answer is or your difference is two thousand eight hundred and fifty one okay now to find or to verify your answer what you'll do you'll add your difference which is 2851 with your smaller number or your subtrahend which is 3045 so when you add 2851 plus 3045 so adding once you have 1 plus 5 6 then 10th place 5 plus 4 9 100th place 8 plus 0 8 and 1000th place 2 plus 3 Five. So as you see, the uh, answer here we got is five thousand eight ninety six, which is equal to our minuend or a larger number, which is also five thousand eight hundred and ninety six. Correct. So that means the answer that we have got, the difference that we have got is correct. So the difference between five thousand eight ninety six and three thousand forty five is two thousand eight hundred and fifty one. All right. Now what we'll do is we'll solve a few questions on subtraction without regrouping. Okay. So exercise three point two on page number hundred and ten. Okay. So the first question here is two thousand four hundred and sixty eight minus one thousand three hundred and fifty seven. Okay. So since they are already written vertically in columns, what we'll do is we'll start subtracting from Ones. So here in ones place, I have eight ones minus seven ones. So how much is eight ones minus seven ones? It is one one. So we'll write one here in the ones place. Then in tens place, we have six tens minus five tens, which is one ten. So again, we'll write one under the tens column. Then moving on to hundreds place, we have four hundreds minus three hundred. So how much is four hundred minus three hundred? It is one hundred. So what we'll do? We'll write one under the hundreds column, and then we have two minus two thousand minus one thousand and thousands place. So two minus one is one. So what's your answer? Your answer is one thousand one hundred and eleven. Okay, one thousand one hundred eleven. Then that is question number. A. Now moving on to question number B. We have three thousand five hundred and eighty-five minus two thousand four hundred and seventy-three. So as you see here, the numbers are already arranged vertically in the place value table. Now what we'll do is we'll start subtracting the numbers from the ones place. So in the ones place, we have five ones minus. Three ones. So how much is five ones minus three ones? It is two ones. So we'll write two in ones column. Then moving on to tens. Tens is eight minus seven. So here that is eight tens minus seven tens, which is one ten. So we'll write one ten here in tens place. Then moving on to hundreds place, we have five minus four. That is five hundreds minus four hundreds. So how much is five hundreds minus four hundreds? Five minus four is One, so that is one hundred. So we'll write one under the hundreds column. Okay, then we'll last place that is the thousands place. We have three minus two or three thousand minus two thousands. So three minus two is how much? It is one. So that is one thousands. So we'll write one here. So that is one thousand one hundred and twelve. The difference is one thousand one hundred and twelve. All right. So now moving on to the next question. That is six thousand nine eighty seven minus three thousand nine hundred and forty seven. Now starting subtracting from the ones place. In ones place we have seven ones minus seven ones. So as we know, when you subtract a number from itself, you get zero. So that is zero. Then tens place eight tens minus four tens, which is four tens. So we'll write four in the tens place. Then coming to the hundreds place, we have nine minus nine. Again, when you subtract a number from itself, you get zero. So nine hundreds minus nine hundreds will be zero hundred. So we'll write zero in hundreds place here. Then thousands place, we have six minus three. So six thousand minus three thousands, which is three thousands. So your difference is three thousand 
फोर्टी सो थ्री थाउजेंड फोर्टी इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन दीज टू नंबर्स नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नाइन थाउजेंड एट हंड्रेड एंड नाइन्टी एट माइनस सेवन थाउजेंड थ्री हंड्रेड एंड फोर्टी फाइव ओके सो हि मूविंग ऑन टू द वन प्लेस सब्ट्रैक्टिंग वन प्लेस एट वन माइनस फाइव वन इज थ्री वन सो विल राइट थ्री हि देन द टेंथ प्लेस इन टेंथ प्लेस वी हैव नाइन टेंथ माइनस फोर टेंथ सो हम इज नाइन टेंथ माइनस फोर टेंथ इट इज फाइव टेंथ सो विल राइट फाइव टेंथ हि देन मूविंग ऑन टू हंड्रेड प्लेस एट हंड्रेड माइनस थ्री हंड्रेड विच इज फाइव so we write five here then in thousands place we have nine minus seven which is two thousands correct so we'll write two in thousands place so the difference between nine thousand eight ninety eight minus seven thousand three hundred and forty five is two thousand five hundred and fifty three all right then question number e seven thousand six hundred and fifty four minus six thousand two hundred and thirty now we start subtracting from the ones place in ones place we have 4 minus 0 that is 4 ones minus 0 ones which is 4 ones only so we'll write 4 ones then in tens place we have 5 tens minus 3 tens so how much is 5 tens minus 3 tens it is 2 tens so we'll write 2 in tens place then in hundreds place we have 600 minus 200 which is 400 so we'll write Four in hundreds place, and in thousands place we have seven minus six, which is one. So the difference between seven thousand six hundred and fifty-four and six thousand two hundred and thirty is one thousand four hundred and twenty-four. Okay, one four two four is the difference. Then the last question that is eight thousand six ninety-seven minus two thousand five hundred and forty-seven. So we start subtracting from the ones place. So we have seven ones minus seven ones. So when you subtract a number from itself, you get zero. So seven minus seven is zero. Then tens place. In tens place, I have nine tens minus four tens. So how much is nine tens minus four tens? It is five tens. So I will write five in the tens place like this. Okay. Then in hundreds place, I have six minus Five. So how much is six minus five? Six minus five is one. So that is one hundred. Then in thousands place, I have eight minus two. Okay, so eight thousand minus two thousand is how much? It is equal to six thousand. So the difference between eight thousand six ninety seven and two thousand five hundred and forty seven is six thousand one hundred and fifty. Okay, so it is six thousand one fifty. Now the last questions that they have told to do at home, G H and I, that is for your homework. Okay, so exercise three point two G H I is for your homework, and also these two questions on properties of subtraction, are for your homework. So these two questions and the last three questions over here. are your today's homework so do that for homework and in the next class we will continue with subtraction of four digit numbers with regrouping okay so we'll do subtraction of four digit numbers with regrouping in the next class all right thank you students i'll see you all in the next class we'll continue with the next topic okay thank you so much